Neil Rana Rock Doc here with a story. So, what was the first time John Lennon and George Harrison played publicly together after the final Beatles show in August 1966? Hmm. <laughs> well, I'll tell you the answer in a minute, but a little background first. <laughs> so, the United Nations organization UNICEF planned a big Peace for Christmas concert at the Lyceum Theater in London for December 15, 1969. The acts that were booked to play included the Young Rascals, Desmond Decker and the Aces, Blue Mink, and Black Velvet and a well-known DJ named Emperor Resco would spin tunes between the performances. Now, for some reason, UNICEF wrongly got the information that the Plastic Ono Band would also perform, and they announced it before confirming it with John and Yoko. All right. 48 hours before the show, a very nervous UNICEF official had to make the call. And to his surprise, John said yes. He and Yoko knew the call was coming and had already discussed performing at the show. They had been campaigning for peace throughout the year, highlighted by the two bed-ins in Amsterdam and Montreal, and they knew this would be a great opportunity to put across their message. Now, Lennon was pretty sure his band from the Toronto show would agree to play, and sure enough, Eric Clapton, Klaus Foreman, Alan White, and Billy Preston all agreed to come and play with John and Yoko at the show. Okay. So it's the night of the show, and John and the band are all at the theater waiting for Eric Clapton to arrive. Now, Eric arrives, but not alone. To everyone's surprise, Clapton shows up with most all of Delaney and Bonnie's touring band, which Eric was on the road with at the time. Now, he is the coolest part. <laughs> Delaney and Bonnie's band included a fairly well-known second guitarist by the name of George Harrison. <laughs> now, needless to say, Lennon was very pleasantly surprised, and later on he said, Oh, I thought it was fantastic. I was really into it. We were doing the show with George and Bonnie and Delaney, Billy Preston and all that crowd turned up. They'd just come back from Sweden and George had been playing Invisible Man in Bonnie and Delaney's band, which Eric Clapton had been doing to get the pressure off being the famous Eric and the famous George. They became the guitarists in this and they all turned up and it was again like the concert in Toronto. I said, will you come on? They said, well, what are you going to play? I said, listen, we're going to probably do a blues or cold turkey, which is three chords. And Eric knew that. And don't worry, Kyoko, which was Yoko's, which has three chords and a riff. I said, we get on to Yoko's riff. Just keep hitting it. <laughs> so let's listen to cold turkey from that night. Okay, so the full lineup was Lennon, Harrison, Clapton and Delaney Bramlett on guitars. Clapton was actually playing Rocky, Harrison's psychedelic Fender Strat, Ono on vocals, Bonnie Bramlett on tambourine, Alan White and Jim Gordon on drums. Billy Preston organ, Klaus Vorman bass guitar, Bobby Keys saxophone, Jim Price trumpet. <laughs> what a lineup, right? What a lineup. John referred to the band as the Plastic Ono 
super group. Now, Keith Moon even showed up at the gig and came on stage, had no drum sets to play, so he played Alan White's Tom Toms. And according to Alan, I went down there in my mini and went on stage at the Lyceum. Just prior to the Plastic Ono band going on, Eric Clapton turns up with the whole Delaney and Bonnie band. So we had to hustle another couple of drum kits. Then Keith Moon joins me on stage playing my 16-inch tom-toms. It was a thing where somebody would hit one chord and it was a jam. So, the band did about 45 minute set consisting of Cold Turkey and the Kyoko Song, and they played in front of a huge War Is Over banner, and War Is Over postcards were distributed to the audience. And following the performance, Lennon and Ono engaged in a media blitz and advertising campaign for peace, taking out billboards in major cities, saying war is over if you want it. Happy Christmas from John and Yoko. And that was it, man. So, on the road. So that was it. That was the first time John and George played publicly since the breakup of the Beatles. By all accounts, it was a pretty good show, although the second song went on much too long, and Alan White actually had to speed everybody up so they couldn't play, so they'd stop after 40 minutes. <laughs> all right. Now, tomorrow, at about 1.30 Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to have a special guest my old friend Stuart Young. Now, Stuart was the one who hired me. He was the manager of ELP. He hired me as tour manager for ELP 45 odd years ago. He went on to manage ELP for the duration, but Cindy Lauper, Billy Squire, ACDC for 10 years, and now he manages Foreigner. So it should be fun if you saw me and Mario you'll like the banter between me and Stuart. All right, that's tomorrow at 1.30. Okay, Neil Ratner Rock Doc, have a great day, and hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow. All right, bye now.